Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. Uh, and today we are talking about how you can build a song-specific patch list in Ableton the same way you would in MainStage. Um, it's really easy. Um, you're going to have it in no time. Uh, and while I've got you here, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date um, with all of my videos and blog posts. All right, I'm going to give you a quick demo of what I did, and then I'm going to show you how I did it. So that's the base of the patch, and we want to change patches as little as possible. Um, so we kind of want to make use of the computer to get the most bang for our buck for what we're playing. Um, so what I've done here is I've created a uh, MIDI effect rack, and I'm going to walk you through this. So if you see something that confuses you, don't worry, I'm going to give it step by step. And so I've got uh, a chain on my MIDI effect rack for my chord trigger. Um, I've got a chain for my bass notes, so you can hear. Turn the organ off so you can hear. That's piano with no bass, piano with bass. And then I've got this pulse chain here, which basically just allows me to have that, um, which is in the recording. Um, and I actually have this same um, chain here on my organ sound, um, except I've got it pitched one octave higher. Um, and then on my lead channel here, I just need these notes. So I uh, just selected those notes. All right, so let's go ahead and actually get rid of all of these things. And then we'll talk about kind of what I did and why I did it. Um, let's start by making a MIDI channel and we're gonna name it the things that we need. So pianos. And um, we're going to make another MIDI channel and we're going to call it organ. We're going to make another MIDI channel and we're going to call it lead. Now, if you uh, don't know, the shortcut for that is Command Shift T. Um, and let's start adding some sounds. So the piano sound that I'm using for this is called the Power Chords Piano. Um, and that's actually a preset that you can get on my website. Um, there's a link in the description below. But... Um That's sort of the idea here. Um, and let's go ahead and add an organ. And our organ sound that I'm using here is from an Ableton Live pack. It's called Basic Tone Wheel. We'll drop that in. And the lead sound that we're using, I created using Wavetable, if I can find it here. Counting Stars Lead Synth. So we'll drop that in. So now we've got our sounds, but everything um, is separated and we want it kind of to be able to happen at the same time. So if you change your monitor to in, um, you'll be able to have everything happening at the same time. Although that maybe is not necessarily what we want um, and we're going to deal with that right now. So uh, let's head over to our piano sound and deal with that first. So we know that we're going to want some sort of a chord trigger, um, and this is how we're going to do that. If you click on whatever piano you're using, um, you can get this piano patch off my website, but if you have one that you like to use, you can click on the top of it, and if you hit Command G, it's going to create an instrument rack around it. Um, and the nice thing about having an instrument rack around it is it gives you the ability to turn things on and off really easily using the chain selector. So I'm going to move this chain over to one, and you'll notice now, I'm going to solo this, there's no piano sound, and if I move this here, there's piano sound. So I'm going to create a clip up here by double clicking, and if we go into envelopes, I'll click this dotted line, I'm going to rename this to on. And then I'm going to make another clip, and I'm going to move this to zero, and we're going to call this off. These are just some basic clips so we can work quickly later. So when this clip is fired, piano sound. When this clip is fired, no piano sound. And um, you also want to make sure that your clips are set to not quantize so they fire immediately. Piano, no piano. Great. 
All right, so the next thing that we want to build is um, our chord trigger. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to drop a MIDI effects rack in between our instrument rack and our instrument. So we'll go over here to MIDI effects, MIDI effect rack, and we'll drop it right there. Nice. Okay. And I like to see the key view here. Now, we're going to do another MIDI effect rack because um, I like to have control of things individually. So let's rename this one uh, MIDI Rack Container. And you can do that quickly by hitting um, Command R. And let's rename this Chords because that's what we're going to use it for. Now, our MIDI effect rack over here, we're going to call this Chord Trigger. And we'll go ahead and press the key menu as well. And we're going to drop in our chord plugin, which is MIDI Effects Chord, and we'll drop it in. Now, we only want this chord to trigger on one note at a time. So I shrunk that chain down. I know that I did that quickly. I'm going to undo it so you can see it again. Your mouse will change. You can shrink it down just like that. Then you can move it wherever you want. I really want it on this C sharp one. So I'll do that. And you'll see we have sound there. But if I moved it, no sound. So we're creating a chain that only lets one thing pass through. And we're going to call this C sharp minor. Now we're going to build that chord. So we'll want our first shift to be three because it's a minor chord. C sharp D, D sharp E. And then we'll want our next one to be seven. D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp. And yeah. But that sounds a little bit too low. So the way that we'll actually deal with that is we'll go over here to our pitch plugin and we will drag it right in front of chord. And we'll set this to 12. Nice. Um, great. So we know we've built a minor chord here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this by hitting Command D. And we'll rename this to F sharp minor, which is the other minor chord in this progression. And we'll go like this. So now when we hit F sharp, we've got our two chords. Now we'll duplicate this guy. And we're going to change this to be E major. So that's one of our chords. And we'll actually have to go now and move this chain over to E. And move this shift one to four um, because we'll have a major chord. We'll duplicate this and we'll call this B major. And we'll move this guy over to B. Brilliant. All right, so those are our chords. Um, now we need a bass note. Um, and our bass notes should actually be exactly where we're playing them. So we're going to right mouse click and hit create chain. And we're going to call this bass. So those are going to be the notes we want to pass through. So you hear already it's poking out there. We can actually leave this go all the way down, but our top one should be uh, F sharp. Right there. So now we've built our chord trigger and our bass notes. And the very last thing we need to build is our pulse. So if we create another chain, we will rename that pulse. And that's sort of the thing that's going um, ding, 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 ding. So that's actually only three notes. It's C sharp, B, and A. those notes to be one octave higher, which we will achieve by coming into here for MIDI effects. And we'll do a pitch plugin for 12. And then we'll do a chord plugin right after that so that we can have it play in octaves. And I might add a little bit of juice there. Um, put that up to maybe 110. Now when we hear that in action. <laughs> Create 
created something that really works. Um, now the good news is we don't ever have to do that work again. So we've created this MIDI rack container and uh, we actually want basically the same thing to be happening in our organ. So we're going to click on this MIDI rack container. We're going to hold down option on our keyboard and we're going to drag it right before our tone wheel organ. I'm going to unsolo this. Now that's really loud and really hot. I'm going to turn this off. Right now, we don't need the pulse to be happening in our organ sound, so we'll just be having the uh, chord triggers, which we only need up to F sharp. But what we do want is we want our pitch of our chords to be one octave higher. So if we go over here and change this 12 to 24, you might think we have to do it a ton more times, but we can actually right mouse click and hit copy value to siblings. And then all of a sudden we have this beautiful giant sound um, that works really nice. All right, uh, last piece here getting this lead sound to be where we want it. So I've got this lead sound here, um, and I'm gonna group this again, just um, so we have an easy way to turn things on and off. So we'll move our chain over to one, and we will move our chain selector also over to one, and we'll double click here, and we'll rename this on, and in our envelopes column, we'll click here, and I will do another one that I will rename off and I will move this envelope to zero. So when I press on, all right, so now we need to set the range that this synth works in. So we actually need that E4 to B. All right, so now all together we have Now those sounds are a little bit hot, so I'm gonna come in here and we'll turn down our um, our synth a little bit, maybe pull the organ down as well. All right, now this is a great place to start, um, but we, now we need to kind of map this out so we can actually use it um, when we're playing this song. So I'm going to start by saying that um, a lot of it is actually going to be all three sounds on because there's not a ton of overlap. So I'm going to just start my patch here on five, and I'm going to call this in the master channel all three because it's all three sounds. Um, but for our next sound, what we actually are going to want is um, we're going to want just the piano, and we're going to want it without any chord trigger. Um, so we're going to go in here and create a clip, and we're going to call this um, Open Keys, or whatever you want to name it. Um, and we're going to go to our piano sound, and we're just going to click this button. It's going to tell us that the uh, tell Ableton that we want to program this to turn off. Then we'll double click here, and we will make sure. Yep, and we'll click off. So now when I fire this. Um, I've got a chord trigger. When I fire this, I've got no chord trigger. Um, and we'll go ahead also here and we're going to turn the organ off for this scene. And we're going to turn our lead sound off as well, which I guess I haven't created a clip for that yet, but it's not too difficult to do. So now when this fires, I've got just a keyboard sound, and the, I'll call this just keys, and we're going to do another patch that's going to be very similar, so we'll copy all of this down, because we still don't actually want to have um, any lead on this sound, but what we do want is we want our organ um, to be turned back on which we'll do by moving this here to the one, go back in, 
move it to the one. And then what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to turn this container uh, off as well. So once I've clicked there, I can turn this off and we'll call this open organ. So now I've got keys and organ. When this is fired, And then we'll want to go back to all three after that. So we'll drag it down. And this is kind of how we build it. So we started here. four scenes, you created a song-specific patch list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest content, and head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com to pick up your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today. Mm -hmm.